Next month will mark five years since prosecutors say Hal Trey Donaldson went on a random killing spree in Seminole Heights. And we believe that we can um, have our motions filed. During a virtual court hearing Thursday, Donaldson was present as prosecutors and his defense team told the judge they aim to try one of his cases next year. We would be prepared in the summer of 2023, we believe, uh, based on how things are, are progressing at this time. Donaldson is accused of causing terror and panic in Seminole Heights in the fall of 2017. They say he gunned down four innocent people who happened to be walking alone. Benjamin Mitchell, Monica Hoffa, Anthony Naiboa, and Ronald Felton. Police released this home surveillance video of the suspected gunman. Donaldson was eventually arrested after a McDonald's manager in Ybor City turned over a food bag with a 40 caliber Glock handgun he had given her to hold. Later, prosecutors announced they would be seeking the death penalty. I am going to grant the motion to sever. Tampa Judge Samantha Ward later deciding to sever all four cases and have a separate trial for each of the victims. She pressed attorneys today on which case would go first. If there's a particular order that the state has intended, or I, I would expect you all to discuss that in some in some fashion and see if there's a, something you can agree to. While neither side had a clear answer, Judge Ward expects one by their next hearing in November. Gloria Gomez, Fox 13 News. And Donaldson's next court hearing is set for November 7th, and a trial date will be set then.